people are going insane over vibe coding. Vibe coding. Vibe coding. Vibe coding. Vibe coding. Vibe coding. Everyone is talking about it. So I thought, why shouldn't I ride the hype train and give you the real truth about vibe coding? Because uh, I'm the number one YouTuber in the entire history of my house. Okay, where was I? Yeah. So, is vibe coding actually the future of software development or just another hype trend? So, let's start by addressing the elephant in the fridge. Who created vibe coding and what the F does it mean? So, after my extensive hard research, aka asking ChatGPT, the history of vibe coding traces back to February 2nd, 2025, when a computer scientist named Andre Kerpathy, a former research scientist at OpenAI, Yes, the company that charges astronomical prices for using their pro AI and also a former director at Tesla AI. So on February 2nd, 2025, Andre on his Twitter, oh sorry, X, talked about vibe coding and rest is history. So that brings us to the next question. What the fridge is vibe coding? So vibe coding is a brand new way of coding, except uh, we don't actually huh? code. Instead, we chill, relax, sip coffee, and let the LLMs do all the work for us. Just type a prompt, hit enter, boom, you're a vibe coder. That's it. No debugging, no semicolon, no errors, no nothing. Just pure AI-generated garbage code. I mean code. And fun fact, technically, I have been a vibe coder too at some point. Uh, maybe one of the first. I don't know, somebody fact check if you're free. But now, the real question. Why is vibe coding suddenly everywhere? Well, as you're smart enough and might have guessed, this all started after the big bang of generative AI. And now, vibe coding is spreading like wildfire. But honestly speaking, vibe coding is actually a great news for people who don't have an extensive coding background. But they are more interested in the final product than the actual coding itself. Because, let's be honest, people do actually know that there is a real 3D life outside VS Code. Now, to understand why vibe coding can be a great thing for people who don't know much about coding, uh, uh, let me give you an example. Let's say you have a brilliant game idea, uh, maybe something as big as GTA 6 or, you know, one of those sketchy mobile games from YouTube ads that look nothing like the actual game when you download it. Yeah, those ones. With vibe coding, you don't need to spend months or even years learning programming or even writing code by yourself. Instead, you use an AI assistant that generates your code in seconds. And the best part, you don't need to bother your dual code 2.5 petabyte brain trying to learn or debug anything. You just need an idea, throw it into a prompt, and done. The code writes itself. Sounds perfect, right? Well, uh, not so fast. The problem with white coding. Well, of course, people are making some really cool projects with vibe coding, uh, as you can see, and also earning a lot of money. But, and by the way, it's a big but, they already have some coding knowledge. So if you're thinking uh, that you can create some really cool, awesome projects without knowing anything about coding, uh, you are very wrong. Well, LLMs are really, really efficient and smart nowadays, they do make some errors. Some are really brain errors. And if you don't know what those errors are, you can't actually fix them. And if you can't fix them, uh, you don't have your vibe coding project. But uh, let's be real, AI is improving really fast. And at some point, it could generate error-free code. If that happens, uh, vibe coding might become a real thing, where anyone, no matter their age, or zero skill level can just type a prompt and build their projects. Because uh, let's face it, people want to do everything with AI nowadays. From AI making videos on social media to I'm tired of Sam man. So I quit my job to become a full time stand up comedian. Yeah, following my passion. Yeah, that's my passion. But one thing I want to say. Suck you, Sam. Anyways, coming back to stand up comedy stuff. Do you want to hear a joke about uh, my building? Yes, wow, wow. yes, yes. Okay, yes. okay. But uh, I'm still building it. So yeah, you can see that white coding actually has a chance. For people with zero coding skills, 
in the very near future. And if that happens, computer science might be in danger. I mean, who wants to spend four precious years of their life studying and spending their parents' hard-earned money on something that AI can do just by typing a prompt? And if it does happen, uh, universities might have to start four-year courses on uh, how to write a good prompt 101. But hey, on the bright side, at least we might save some trees from getting destroyed. No more 1000 pages explaining recursions or pointers. Oh, they're already cutting trees. Okay. Next question. Can wipe coding become the future of software development? After Andre talked about wipe coding, uh, everyone started talking about it. Not just YouTubers, but Silicon Valley has taken notice too. Even Gary Tan, CEO of Y Combinator the company that invests in early-stage startups has acknowledged its potential to revolutionize software development. And as we know, Silicon Valley loves turning ideas into capital. So don't be surprised if within a year, big tech companies or even new startups start competing to create the ultimate bike coding platform, promising it to be faster, smarter, and more efficient. And of course, there will be a premium subscription fee, pro plans slapped right into your face, probably costing half of your salary. So you can generate code effortlessly as a wipe coder. So that brings us to another question. Should I care about wipe coding? I mean, it could just be another trend that pops out every single year, gets a bunch of attraction, a bunch of YouTuber makes videos on how it will take your job and then it disappears into the shadow of another hype. So, does this actually matter? Well, here's the thing. As we talked about, LLMs are getting insanely powerful, which means wipe coding can actually be a next major shift in programming. But, again, a big but. As history has taught us, if an idea gets overly overhyped, it turns into a buzzword-driven AI scam. Most of the time. Uh, there are countless examples. Hello! It's me, Devin. Wait a minute. That's Devin right there. The most wanted AI right now by the Interpol. Okay, I know what to do. Send them. So, until they finish their job, let... Uh, guys, can you just wait for a moment? Okay. You can share your opinion in the comment section or give a more detailed one on my Discord server. Your choice. Bye. I need to finish a job.